So today we're going to be performing a streak plate for isolation. In the previous lab, if you recall, we talked about the functions of media, and they were to help to isolate microorganisms, to identify microorganisms, and help to maintain them. This is one of the most important of all the um, methods that you can learn in microbiology, and it's a four-quadrant streak method to isolate bacteria or other organisms uh, using a technique that we dilute a po population organisms from a very large population to a smaller population with individual isolated colonies. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and sanitize the entire table that I'm going to be working on. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and lay down some disinfectant. This is 10% Lysol, which is the disinfectant that we use in our laboratory. And then, some of you that may have learned, in order to clean a surface, that you clean a surface to dry. In microbiology, we clean to cover, right? So we want to cover the entire surface area of the area that we're going to be working in. And so that's because one of the most important things about working with microbes is that you've got to have proper contact time. Contact time is the amount of time it takes for a disinfectant or any antiseptic to come in contact with the microorganism to render it inactive or kill it completely. Okay? So this is disinfected, and we can start to set up now. Okay? So you'll need a Bunsen burner. I've got gloves. Typically, I'd be wearing an apron, but well, we are in a process of moving things around, and so I don't have an apron um, or a lab coat. Uh, and then I've got safety glasses. And I've got a plate. And so this is a plate that we're going to use to um, isolate a culture, a very large uh, population of or This is Enterobacter cloacae. And so you can see that it's, um, it is cloudy or turbid, indicating that there is organism in the actual medium itself. Okay? I'm ready to go. All I need to do is to go ahead and label my plate. So on the back of the plate, I'm going to label it uh, in a manner that will allow me to have some kind of justification for how I might streak. Typically, I don't do this, but I'm doing this just to show. So that shows the different quadrants. There's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, right? And this is Enterobacter cloacae. Okay. And today is the 26th. Could be 27. Does it make a difference? Okay. So now I'm ready to go. This is the plate I'm going to be using. Here's the culture I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and put my safety glasses on, and I'm going to turn on the flame. So there are two different ways to do this. One, you could use a Bunsen burner, but we also have these loops that have been gamma radiated. And if you don't have access to a flame, you can use a gamma radiated loop. This is what the loop looks like on that end. And on the other end, there's a needle. So you can see the application of these gamma radiated uh, tools. I'm going to do it with the loop itself. Okay? So here's the metal loop. All right? Gonna, this is one of the major tools that we use. You hold this like you would a pencil or a brush if you were painting an image or a picture, okay? And the way you handle this is you handle it from, the, from this end part here, and you flame it with the base of the loop because metal conducts heat, and you get that really nice and hot. You'll know that the metal is hot because it turns orange. You want to see that loop turn real nice and orange. Once that loop turns real nice and orange, you're ready to go, okay? So this is still very warm, so you just want to be careful that when you stick it into anything, there, there might be microbes that you don't create an aerosol. And so um, you can see here that um, this is the organism, and here's the loop. The loop, the inside has got the organism, and here's the loop. It is as clean as I'm going to get it, right? So take the pinky, pull up on this, never put anything down. I'm going to go ahead and waft the tube in the flame. 
Then I'm going to come in, and all I'm going to do is take that loop and put it into the culture, give a little shake, and then pull out so that you can see that I have captured one drop of the suspension. Okay? So in that one drop of suspension, there are millions and millions of microorganisms, right? And this is the only time I'll need to go into that culture. So now I'm going to take the plate, and I am going to place that one drop of suspension on that first quadrant, just like this. You can see that it's on there, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and put that down for just a second. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to flame the loop because I'm not interested in the population that is on that loop. I'm only interested in the population of microorganisms, bacteria, that I have placed on that plate, okay? So here you can see the flame is nice and red. And so it's gonna be a little bit hot. So what I always like to do is I like to take it to a section of the fourth quadrant that I'm not gonna use and I just like to touch it and it'll cool it down. It'll leave it kind of a little bit of a brand in the media, but it'll cool it down. And now I can go ahead and engage that one drop of suspension without causing an aerosol. And so you can see that I'm coming in here and I'm going to transfer that one drop of organism throughout that entire first quadrant. I am only going in one direction and I am not going I'm not digging into the media while I'm doing that, right? So that is the first quadrant really nicely streaked. Put that down for a minute, come back here. I'm going to flame the loop because remember, I'm not interested in the population that is on that loop. I'm only interested in the population that has been streaked on that first quadrant. So I'm going to come back here, flame this loop completely, get the loop really nice and orange and hot. And once that happens, I'm ready to go. It's hot, so remember that area in that fourth, fourth quadrant, I'm going to go ahead and touch it to that area, cool it down a bit. And now I'm only interested in this kind of the last 25% of that first quadrant. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to take my loop, and I'm going to gently back and forth into that last quarter of that first quadrant and I'm going to move that entire population into the second quadrant. Okay, so that's done. And then I'll streak, I'll go ahead and flame this again. So flaming, for people who've done this a lot, you don't really need to flame every time, but as we are learning how to do this, it's really important for us to do this so that we don't have to deal with the extra population that may be on this loop, right? We only have to deal with the population that's on that plate. It's really hot. I'm going to come back to the area of that fourth quadrant. I'm going to touch it here just gently, kind of cool it down a bit. And now I'm only interested in that last quarter of that second quadrant. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take whatever is in that last quadrant of that, of that last portion of that second quadrant and I'm going to move it into the entire third. So you see that I am just gliding on the surface, not really digging into the media. Okay. So I'm going to be interested in that last quarter of that third quadrant, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and flame the loop one last time. So I'm going to come in here, flame the loop one last time. Nice and orange, it's really hot. Come back to that plate, touch it to the area of the fourth quadrant I'm not going to use, and now I can come back here, and I'm going to go in that, in this last quadrant, the rule of four applies. So you go in four times, one, two, three, four, and never again, but you use the entire surface area of that fourth quadrant to make sure that you streak it and you've used the entire surface area of the plate, right? In theory, what should happen is in that first quadrant, you should have an abundance of growth because you put on millions of microbes. You've just spread them out into that first quadrant. You start to see a decrease in the population. So in the second quadrant, you'll see moderate amount of growth. Once you move into the third quadrant, you start to see few to some uh, amount of growth that a lot more has decreased since you have streaked that first quadrant. And then that last and that fourth quadrant, what you have is isolated uh, colonies to which you can use to do microbiological studies, whatever that might be identification, enzyme studies, whatever. So again, this is the streak plate method for isolation. 
It takes a large population of microorganisms. It dilutes it using the entire surface area of the plate so that you get isolated colonies to which you can use to further study whatever organism you're working with. Okay. Thank you.